Hey guys, my name's Jan. I make new videos every Friday, so please make sure you subscribe down below and get a notification for when I next upload a video. And now, enjoy. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week I have decided to do a video on my tips for university. What I'm going to do, I'm going to split it into five main categories of tips. That's going to be Freshers Week, your course, how to deal with money, managing your time at university, and then some more general survival tips for how you're going to get on with your first year of university. And the reason I've decided to do this this week is because I've realised that a lot of people are going back to university or are starting their first year and I thought why not put this video out then that way you know what to do when you get there. So Freshers Week. The first thing I'd recommend doing with Freshers Week is making sure that you go out with your friends as a flat. Whether it's just to go shopping or whether there's something going on at the university or whether it's for a night out. It doesn't really matter but you really need to get to know your flat. The Freshers' Fair. The Freshers' Fair is probably one of the most important things to go to when you're at university. You find out a lot, whether it's about your course, whether it's about the other so clubs or societies, whether it's about what's actually on the campus, you will find out loads. And yes, you may have been to the open days or the introduction days or whatever you had, but make sure you go to the Freshers' Fair. You will find out a lot more. That's where I got my swim pass, that's where you can find out about public transport and things because at the end of the day you're likely to be in a new city, you might even be in a new country. Learn your new place. For me, I went down to Swansea. Swansea is not a new city to me, but there was a lot of things that I hadn't discovered. When you're living there, it's different, you've got to find out where you need to go shopping. You've got to find out what time the buses run. You might not have a car, I didn't have a car when I was at uni for my first year and I'm not going to have a car for this year. Make sure you know the public transport, make sure you know where the town centre is, make sure you know where your bank is. Thing is, you need to know where your bank is. I was lucky, I had a branch on campus, that's one thing you might want to find out, whether your bank has a branch nearby, especially if it might be on campus like mine was. Make sure with Freshers Week as well, you have a good time. At the end of the day, you can be yourself. Your friends are probably not going to judge you on who you are. At the end of the day, They'll like it because they're all unique. They're all here at university. You might want to hide some things. Like, you may think that if you do videos like me, you might want to hide that. But at the end of the day, you're flat are going to find out anyway. And if you've got quirks, a lot of the time, like my videos and that, I was actually encouraged a lot by my flatmates to make videos and they told me things to do and other things like that. And you'll find that, weirdly enough, those quirky things might actually become a big part of your flat. So the second main topic I'm going to talk about is your course at university. Turn up to your lectures. There will be an introduction lecture probably, or some introduction lectures, might be some seminars and other things as well. Firstly, make sure you turn up to them. They are a lifeline for the year. I mean, you might find out what books you need, or how to use a certain thing, or how to get in touch with your personal tutor and things like that. It might even give you some tips on how to actually pass the year. And then after that, make sure you turn up to your lectures. Try and turn up all the time. Turn up to your seminars as well, because seminars are vital. Don't be afraid to ask questions. That is one thing that I was at the start of the year afraid, but you get over very, very quickly. Don't feel like, because this is the way I am, I don't ask a question in the middle of the lecture or the seminar. I'll wait to the end of it when everyone's gone or something. So that way then, you know, it's a one-to-one -one thing or maybe there's a couple of you and you'll have a bit of a discussion about it. The lecturers, weirdly enough, really enjoy you asking questions because you are testing their knowledge and they like to see what they can actually teach you. Meet your personal tutor. This, I think, was vital for my year at uni because I had a lot of things that didn't exactly go well. But make sure you know who your personal tutors are because at the end of the day, they're going to make sure you do well for the rest of the year and they're going to tell you things what you can go and do. Like, my personal tutors were there when my nan died, for instance, and they made sure that I pulled through and they sorted things out for me 
if I needed extra like seminars or things because I was going to miss and they sort they arranged it all on my behalf because of the situation that was going on make sure you work your first year you don't know how important it is yes people might say oh well it doesn't really count <laughs> might not count towards your final grade but trust me it does count because you need to make sure you're on that second year the last thing is using the library uh, there's a quote in Swansea University that goes along the lines of a university is a library with a load of buildings surrounding it. I think that is true. You need to make use of the library. You're at university to work, you're there to read. No other way of really putting it. You might be learning other things, but at the end of the day you're going to have to do some sort of reading. The third thing I'm going to talk about is money at university and how you actually deal with it. First thing, student loans. Make sure you've got it sorted out. I had a lot of problems with my student loan. I'd actually sorted it if they had problems, but make sure you're ready to deal with any problems. Enrollment. Weirdly enough, I've put this in the money section because if you don't enrol properly at university, the student loans people do not give you your loan. You need that to survive. Write down costs. You don't have to do it for the whole year. I did it for a couple of weeks, but that way you're getting an idea of how much things cost, and then that way you can budget without having to write it down on a piece of paper what you're spending and knowing, you know, if you've got any money left at the end of the week. Food shopping, think about it. At the end of the day, you need to survive. You can survive off one meal a day. Okay, that weren't me. I survived on probably more than two meals a day at least, mostly three meals a day. But you can always survive off one good meal a day. Nights out can be very, very expensive at university. Or are they? Might turn out that some of the best places or some of the best places they recommend, you have to pay entry for. There is a place that most of my flat prefer that is free. And it's actually cheaper to buy drinks and things in. Yes, you might have to find out what it is and maybe it's not what you think it'll be. For me, it's actually an Irish bar and I didn't think it would be an Irish bar that I'd be interested in, but they play a lot of really good music and it's really cheap. And I can get my favourite beer on draft, which it's an American beer and it's very rare to get it on draft. And it's worth going to. The fourth thing I want to talk about is managing your time at university. First thing I'm going to recommend doing is create your own timetable. Yes, you might be given a personalised timetable, but if you create your own timetable, you're more likely to know when your things are. Notebook. Write a to-do list. Plan ahead. You might become ill, other things may happen. If you do it all in advance, it makes it much, much easier. You don't have to have a catch-up game. Make sure, surprisingly, that you sleep properly. Have maybe a couple of nights without alcohol on things, because that way you will sleep better, and try and get to bed at a reasonable time. Don't overdo anything at university. When I mean that, I mean don't over relax, don't over cook, don't overdo your work. Surprisingly, you will burn out. The last thing, which is number five, are some general tips for university, what I think are also very, very important. First of all, charity shops are your friend. You're going to need books, the library is great, but when there is 400 students and one book in the library, good luck. Go down the charity shops, sometimes you might find a book that's very, very similar, or sometimes you need something interpreting that's in a book and you can't understand it, and you go down the library and you can get another book. Sometimes that book isn't there, but sometimes having the charity shop books in your, your own little library is great, because you don't have to go down the library, you can do it in your pyjamas, in your bed. Everyone is friendly, don't feel afraid to make friends. Free things, get as many free things as you can. For instance, I go to some seminars and some other things to do with law that aren't university things, but they happened at the university. And surprisingly, okay, you sit there and you'll get a lecture on judicial review or the Welsh legal system or something. But afterwards, you'll have a free meal and free wine. It's great because that way you can make sure you're eating properly and tell you it's good food. Sometimes you might end up coming back with some alcohol or other things. And as well, 
that way you get to meet some contacts which is very very important because when you go out into the world you're going to need to get a job i've got some announcements this week that i'm also going to make at the end of this video first of all i have been to dublin i have taken a trip to dublin and there will be some travel videos coming up in the next couple of weeks they'll be on a monday make sure that you subscribe down below press that notification button to know when they are i am in swansea on when this video comes out i would have been at a conference so watch out for a video about that as well and my videos should be back to normal from now on the reason the videos have not been back to normal yet although i've kept trying will be explained in the next couple of weeks in its own video because i really want to talk about that because it's very serious and it needs to be addressed i think but that will be in a video in the next couple of weeks but from now on videos should be on fridays and trust me i've recorded a lot and i'm getting videos down into my pad getting ideas in writing the scripts and things making sure that a video is recorded and finally make sure if you've enjoyed this video give it a like down below if you're new to my channel make sure you click that subscribe bar or if you haven't done it already yet there is also a notification bar down below, notification bell I should say, which notifies you every time I upload a video. Give it a bit of a little ding, and then you will know when a video is uploaded either by a notification on an app or a phone or whatever, and by an email. Make sure as well that you follow me on Twitter and Snapchat, which are both there. My well, last time's video is at the end and the Washington DC video has came out Monday. It's the last one of the series. Make sure you go and check that out to see what actually happened on my return journey back from Washington DC through Dublin back to Birmingham. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?